Dear white fella, couple things you should know. When I born, I black. When I grow up, I black. When I cool, I black. When I go in the sun, I black. When I scared, I black. When I sick, I black. And when I die, I still black. You white fella, when you born, you pink. When you grow up, you white. When you cool, you blue. When you go in the sun, you red. When you scared, you yellow. When you sick, you green. And when you die, you gray. And you have the cheek to call me colored. <laughs> Liverpool versus everybody. Uh, this video isn't particularly about Liverpool, but um, it's about a very, very serious matter and subject in this game. I've spoken about this before a month or so back, um, but it continues to be something that occurs. And I'm not going to call it a rant because I'm going to try to be as composed as I can about it. Um, it's a serious issue for me, um, and, and so I'm here to talk about it. There was some news I got today. Um, I don't know how new it is, but I, I received it today, and I'm pretty sure it, it just came out today, actually, uh, to be honest. I have the information here pulled up on the computer, but um, I started with that clip because um, I thought it was very poignant. I thought it was very essential um, to a lot of the things that's going on, and it put a lot of things kind of in perspective and, and in a nutshell for me of of how I feel about uh, racism in general, but definitely in this game. Um, so without further ado, let me just get on into this, um, and I'll say some a few things afterwards that are that's on my mind. Um, so Tony Henry, who is a director at West Ham, allegedly uh, has opened himself up. I love how they put this. He, he's opened himself up to accusations of racism, potentially, and potentially unlawful discrimination, potentially opening himself up to accusations. He told agents in a transfer window that they don't want to sign any more African players. He goes on to say that African players have bad attitudes and cause mayhem. A lot of this has come after the selling of Diafra Sacco. You saw how things were kind of weird there towards the end with Diafra Sacco. Um, there seemed to be some issue with him and the manager or what have you. Um, and then they moved him off. They also just moved Andre Ayew back to Swansea. He'll be back playing with his brother. Now, there's six players of note um, that I'm aware of, of African descent with West Ham United. Um, ja Mario, who they just got recently from um, Milan. Um, his roots are in Angola. A lot of people probably didn't know that. Agbana. Although he plays with the Italy, Italian national team, I believe. I can't really remember that. Let me just check. Get my facts right. Um, Agbana, yeah. Yeah, Italy. Um, that's who he's chosen to represent. His, his heritage is Nigerian. Pedro Obiang. Um, although he's Spanish considered, he, his, his roots are in Equatorial Guinea. Fernandez, Cape Verdean. Arthur Masuaku, Congo. <clears throat> Czech Kuate, we know Senegal. They need to all get out. And I don't mean the movie. I mean literally get out of West Ham. I would refuse to play. I said this on my Twitter feed. I would refuse to play and I would demand a transfer immediately. ASAP. Um, if the powers that be are not going to discipline folks who are racist, blatantly racist like this, there's more to come, by the way, then us amongst black, African, brown people need to take a stand for ourselves. Here in the States, many of you who are in the States, or maybe not in the States, know about Colin Kaepernick and what he did in the NFL to make a stand. We need to start doing something, man. We need to start doing something. This is the only way we can 
in a way fight back or, or just allow people to realize that we're not going to stand for this. The longer we just kind of let it bypass, laugh it off, the more it's going to continue to happen. You know, and it's just it's just ridiculous that this guy, the audacity, the gall, the nerve, the cockiness to come out and say this. Um, own up to it. Respect for that. You know, I'm glad you, you know, if you're going to be racist, go ahead and own up to it. But, um, you know, it's just amazing to me that at this at this day and age, I mean, you know, this day and age, people are really just that that brazen about it. Um, so anyway, uh, here's an email that uh, Tony Henry sent on January 27th in response to an inquiry about a football player of Cameroon of Cameroonian descent to another senior West Ham official and an agent. In the email, Henry wrote, "We don't want any more Africans." And he's not good enough. That's that's a quote. That's a quote for him. I sent Thomas to watch him the other lad last week, and he said no. If Palace take them, good luck. Now there's no identity of the player that they're talking about, but clearly he's of African descent. Um they asked Henry, Is there a club policy regarding African players? Initially he replied no only to be informed that we understand he has told more than one agent in the last month that the club does not want any more African players. Henry then confirmed it was true and suggested it was a policy supported by club management. Yeah, Henry replied, because we had three and we felt we didn't particularly want any more African players. Asked why, Henry implied. Um, no reason. It's nothing racist at all. It's just sometimes they can have a bad attitude. He goes on to say, we had problems with Sacco, with the offer Sacco. We find that when they are not in the team, they cause mayhem. It's nothing against the African race at all. I mean, look. He goes on to say, I mean, look, there are top African players. That's not the problem. It's just sometimes they cause a lot of problems when they are not playing as we had with Diafra. He's left so great. It's nothing personal at all. I asked if he thought his view was discriminatory towards African players. Henry, of course, asked, in what way? Just he, He's just clueless clueless asked then if he thought the comments amounted to a slight on African players he replied no I don't know what you are trying to get at here all I said was look we have a great lad in, in Czech, Czech Kuwata. he's brilliant a great player for us he's a good lad but the likes of Sacco have caused mayhem when he's not playing he always wants a new deal that's all it was it was nothing discriminatory, discriminatory at all uh, he goes on to just talk a lot of other foods that I'm not going to read because just reading is really just uh, gets my blood boiling. But there you have it. Um, if you just type in Tony Henry, West Ham director, Daily Mail, races, West Ham players, whatever, you can get all that. Um, it, it's a joke. And again, um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if nothing comes to this. Um, as far as I'm concerned, West Ham is dead to me. I don't want to watch their team play anymore. I don't care what... And, and the sad thing about it is that They've had, West Ham has had, so for me, so many great players over the years, man. I mean, just recently, I can go through the whole list, I won't do it, but they've had so many good players, man. Some of my favorite players come through that team um, and do well. A lot of African players. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just, it's really disappointing. Um, again, not surprising at all, um, but very disappointing. Um, and more so because I know the African players there most likely aren't going to stand up. Um, I would be shocked if they stood up. I think they'll continue playing and, and you know, again, just kind of laugh it off and, you know, gloss over it and keep it moving. As long as their pockets ain't being hurt, they're going to keep playing. Um, and that's the biggest tragedy of it to me, um, that we play a role in this in terms of allowing it to happen. Not speaking up about it. The other day on the Chelsea fan channel, 100% Chelsea, 
there's a gentleman who speaks a lot there. It goes by the name of Lewis. Um, he's a man of color, and he he was allegedly um, racially abused. Um, instead of him going into detail or saying what happened, he left it to this white man to kind of speak on his behalf and made a whole video about it. And the video before that, and in, in, in the post match, I think they had just lost, so they were kind of upset. I think it was Arsenal. They were kind of upset. And the white guy brought up the whole idea, like, oh, you were racially abused tonight, right? And Lewis kind of, you know, shrugged it off. It's like, yeah, this guy said something to me. We're not going to repeat what, it said, what he said, but he knows what it is. And left it at that. And so this guy makes a whole video, the white man, kind of trying to be his champion or whatever. Which, listen, for the white folks who don't have a, a, a racist bone in their body, uh, as little as it may be, that's great. You know what I mean? That's great. But if you're a black black person and you're subject to racist harassment, racist abuse, whatever you want to call it, you need to be speaking up on it. You need to be speaking up on it. If not, then don't say anything and that's that's your own prerogative, but don't have it come through a white person to to speak on your behalf and and say how bad he thinks it. And this is a Chelsea fan by the way. Then that's all I have to say about that. Um, so listen, I mean, nothing against the guy who was speaking on his behalf, really, necessarily, but I, 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 I don't want, I, I would prefer personally not to see that. Um, if something's happened to you, you need to speak up on it. It's as simple as that. Um, so we, we need to do that. And, um, until that happens, these things will continue to happen. Um, it happens at every level in every country, um, all throughout Europe, everywhere in football. You know, it, it, it happens, and it's going to continue happening. happen. You know, until some serious, um, some serious consequences take place. Um, and I just don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. Um, that's why I think it's a joke, this whole kick racism out. And I appreciate the black folks that are involved with that. Um, but it's a joke. It's a joke because it'll never be kicked out. Um, you may be able to limit it here and there and, and kind of tame it for a bit, but... It always rears his ugly head, and you know it's 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 just much for me, man. And, and like I said, um, I, I'm not watching West Ham again. This will be my last time you hear me talk about West Ham. Um, I probably won't even do any type of videos based on a game against them. I mean, I'm serious about this. I'm, I'm not. I don't want their their name from this point forward coming out of my mouth at all. None of their players. Nothing. Nothing. Um, I can't be involved with that. I can't see it. Um, it's, it. You know, it's disgusting to me that the idea that, you know, you get on Twitter and you see, this guy has admitted what he said. He's admitted it. He's, he's told you what he said. So it's not just like some rumor, not just the media. It's not just out of the sky. He actually said it. And people have the audacity to even question how someone can see that as racism. It's blatant racism. It's obvious racism. It is disgusting. And you got people making excuses for these people, black, white, and whatever. And that's the real disappointing part, the black folks who are making excuses for this white man being blatantly racist. I mean, it's just, it, 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 it blows my mind, man. It blows my mind. So, um, yeah, that's it for me. I just wanted to come with that news. Um, it's something that we'll continue to go with, but I wanted to put it out there so people know. Tony Henry. Let me make sure I'm getting his name right. I've been seeing it all... Um, afternoon so I should have it right but I want to make sure I got it right Tony Henry yes West Ham director sporting director I guess the guy that that is in charge of transfers um so yeah I mean I, I thought something was weird about Sacco and his situation there at West at that team and um you know what happened with IU how he just left just like that I mean you know I'm done though that's all I wanted to say um didn't even plan on coming back with a video today, but when I heard that news, I had to come back just to, to, to put in how I feel about it um, and just let it rock like that. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon.